when your head feels sore from the night before and your liver's buzzing around and you feel half dead and your eyes see red and you jump at the slightest sound. Well, it's nice to know there's a place to go that accords with your awful gloom. When you've got the pip, just you take my tip and repair to the orderly room. Cause when you're all dressed up and you've got someone to curse, you sort of feel that life might be worse when to your heart's content. Your feelings you vent by sitting down on this chair and doling out punishment. It's a great idea, it's the orderly room. You send mere mortals off to their doom. Your gloom will all disperse, you don't feel half so terse when you're all dressed up and got someone to curse. Good morning, Sergeant Major. Good morning, sir. Lovely day, lovely day, lovely day! I see we've got at least one prisoner. Private May, Private May, Private May. Yes, that is. His name, sir, his crime sheet full. He's charged with theft and drunkenness and reading John Bull. Good heavens. He is the most untidy man we've got. Have him shot, have him shot, have him shot. Yes, no stay, we'll hear what he has got to say. It's just this kind of case. That's a perfect disgrace. So uh, go and bring in private mate. Da -da -da. Da -da. Now we'll all have an orderly room to cheer us up. And it won't be beside the sea. Left, left, head of the cobra, left, right wheel. And don't you stare at me, half time. When you're in the orderly room, don't turn your head. Feet six inches off the ground. I am going to somersault. Flip him up, that man. But halt! Stand still there. Don't turn round. Right turn! Private May, sir. Now, Private May, I'll read the charge against you. Your number's up, you miserable man. It would appear that this is what occurred at 9 p.m. on Saturday, the 23rd of Jan. Now, you've appropriated Private Jones' belongings. His were with all you've stealthily acquired. You've absconded with the man's impedimenta. Annexing whatsoever you desired by running concert to King's regulations. Page 959, I've got it down here ticked. The rules laid down in para XYZ squared. In other words, you clicked. Be quiet, Sergeant Major. <laughs> now, Private Jones, what do you say against the prisoner, Private May? You were a witness in this case. Stand still and do not scratch your face. Stand still, that man. Stand still, that man. Sir, he stole a tin of sardines and some clothes, and he stole my Dixie too. He stole a piece of cheese and potatoes. What was in my Dixie too? He took the only sock I've got. Uh huh. Yes, he pinched the blooming lot. Oh, did he? Nothing was forgotten. From a reel of cotton to some polish in a penny pot. He stole a jar of rum to my surprise and he threw the jar at me. Yes, yes. He had a bit of heaven in his eyes. He was drunk as drunk can be. No, no. He took some fine spring gators in his hand. Then he fight the finest fighters in the land. He threw a mild nose on that my foul tom and he threw my Dixie too. I can't! Sergeant Major Old Bird, will you tell us what occurred? Will you tell us what occurred upon the 23rd? We shall never, never doubt it if you tell us all about it. If you tell us what occurred upon the 23rd. How's your father? All right. Ah, he stole his Dixie. Well, he stole his Dixie. Well, and a reel of cotton, sugar and tea. He sent you hot, sir. Well, you dirty doctor. Work, box. Just as you might be talking to me. Oh, that's different. He stole his ammunition and the second water box. Nothing else was left. He pinched the blooming lot. He stole his Dixie. He stole his Dixie. And he stole my Dixie, too. Private May, Private May, tell us do now what you've got to say. If you don't speak up, you know, you'll be sentenced to death and so hooray, hooray. Tell us what you've got to say today, speak up, old thing, if you don't, you'll sing a poo to loo Private May. Do you plead guilty? I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to do it. Do you plead guilty? Yes, sir, it was me that threw it. I put the blinders through it. I felt so happy then, sir. Now I feel sad. At breakfast time, sir, it made me feel so bad. What made you steal things? I didn't mean to do it. Oh, I didn't mean to do it. I'll never steal again. Oh, it's true.
do. Yes, it's true. I swear it's true. Let me, let me off this time, sir. I never, never will commit another crime, sir. Major, the bogeyman's gone. Now blow for daddy. Because you come to me, I'll see it through. It breaks my heart to have to punish you. You'll have to face the shame and the misery. Because you come to me. I'll send you back to dear old Blighty. I'll put you on the train to London town. I'll help to pay your fare to Western Superman. Birmingham, Leeds or Cleethorpe's, but I don't care. So give my kind regards to your mother. Toddling home to her, you soon will be. Oh, uh, hi tiddly it You'll either go home to Blighty or stay into a month. F.P. Against kick regulations. Gotta keep me here with thee. Give me a month, F.P. I'd rather stay with you. Don't be so welcome, my diddy. Very That's good. Right. Put him in the canteen choir. Yes, sir. Private May, you've had your orders and you must not disobey. So take him, make him as happy as you can. We'll come and see you once today. Give him whiskey and give, give him sodas. Give, give him nuts and raise the car. Oh, you'll be invited by the mother. I don't think, Papa. 